from the collapse of logical positivism to Kuhn and Rorty. The next step was Thomas Kuhn's, the publication in 1962 of his landmark book, The Structure of Scientific Revolutions, announced the developments of the preceding four decades of analytic philosophy and highlighted the dead end it had reached. If science's tools are perception, logic, and language, then science, one of the Enlightenment's prized children, is merely an evolving, socially subjective enterprise with no more claim to objectivity than any other belief system. The idea that science speaks of reality or truth is an illusion. There is no truth. There are only truths, and truths change. Consequently, by the 1960s, the pro-objectivity, pro-science spirit had collapsed in the Anglo-American tradition. Richard Rorty, the best known of the American postmodernists, generalizes the point to anti-realism. As Kant had said two centuries ago, we can say absolutely nothing about the noumena, about what is really real. Rorty's anti-realism is the exact same point. Quote, to say that we should drop the idea of truth as out there waiting to be discovered is not to say that we have discovered that out there there is no truth. It is to say that our purposes would be served best by ceasing to see truth as a deep matter, as a topic of philosophical interest, or true as a term which repays analysis. The nature of truth is an unprofitable topic, resembling in this respect the nature of man and the nature of God." Unquote. 